Hey gang, so I've got something a little different today. First, this is a sponsored video today by G1. Uh, they have sent me the Battlemaster V1.1 by Mr. Wang. Uh, this thing is cool, it's different, it's not for everybody, uh, but it's it packs a lot of fun into this like this tiny little here. Let me get it in focus. Um, it packs a lot of fun into this tiny little body. Um, it's it's neat. We're gonna look at it. We're gonna walk through it, but um, I think it's actually pretty cool and it's worth exploring. And I think it's actually probably worth a lot of people trying out. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here we have the Battlemaster 1.1 by Mr. Wang. Now, this because this came from G1 as a, as a review uh, product, they sent me kind of a full set of everything. So uh, the actual Battlemaster is one piece. This they call the pedestal, um, and this is titanium gray, I believe. The Battlemaster itself is, is uh, stainless steel. And then it also uh, came with this extra uh, PEI, I guess, um, swap out for the top piece. So we're going to look at it all together. Let me just, I'm going to move the PEI out for now. Uh, so what do we have? We have the pedestal, which actually doesn't do anything. The only thing it does is it gives you kind of a, a grip. And in that sense, as much as it doesn't do anything for the fidget, it does a lot for, uh, in terms of how you, you hold it. Uh, because it does, it, it lets you kind of have this natural sort of pistol grip uh, when you're when you're playing with it, and that's actually pretty. That I find pretty uh, pretty useful. Uh, this is what I call kind of a um, it a non-traditional fidget in that it has fidget properties, but it also looks like something. And so in this case, it looks like a toy gun. Um, and you know, it's, it's fun. Like I'm not a gun guy. I'm really not, but I love toy guns for whatever reason. Cause as a kid, I love them. And so this, you know, having something like this is just kind of satisfying to hold. I really, uh, you know, I really enjoy this. Actually, I was surprised. Uh, I make it a point of, um, uh, when I open up something, especially if it's something that's sponsored to me. Um, I'm looking more at uh, explaining all the features it has and letting you kind of make up your own opinion. And then um, I try to put myself into the mind of somebody that would like it and why somebody might like it. Uh, I can understand why people won't like it, but I, I know that there's a lot of people out there, different opinions, and so I always try to come into it with an open mind, saying, okay, what's kind of cool about it? So here is the thing. This is a... a um, it's a fun one to hold. This is a bit of a fantasy slider, right? Because again, you're sitting there and it does like you can do this, this fun kind of cocking motion. Uh, you can just kind of pull back on it. You can slide it up and down. So let's have a look inside. So inside we have basically, I mean, it's a standard slider with uh, all the magnets are the same polarity, but it is kind of interesting. Um, and actually I say the same polarity, there is kind of a, a fighting uh, in here somewhere. So it's, it's got this interesting move to it because of this snap. So I'm not sure, I think a couple of these might be different. I guess we could test it, right? We'll test it in a second. Uh, so. What do we have? We have slider top with magnets, slider bottom with magnets, and that's kind of it. I was thrown off when uh, this uh, this actually came in the box like this, and I thought it was wrong because the sights on a gun are typically at the barrel, I think. But mind you, I mean, you know, I know there's kind of like <laughs> there's sights on the hammer at the back too, but I thought it would or it should have been like this. Like to me, that's kind of how I would I would expect it to be, but this gap does not line up properly. Like as in, it, it works fine. It's the same thing, right? Although it does throw off the magnets a bit because the magnets are clearly designed to work this way. So as long as you line everything up with this little grip pattern, you're fine. 
And I mean, frankly, you're fine the other way too, but this is sort of, it slides better like this. So I really played with this for a while because when I first got it, um, when I first opened anything, I, I like to spend time with it before recording the video because again, our, our opinions change when we sit and play with something. When you first get it, you're expecting fireworks, right? When you first open something you're like, oh man, I want this to be amazing. And it isn't always amazing at first. Sometimes you kind of scratch your head a little bit and you go, well, why, why am I, you know, why am I playing with this? Why did they make it this way? But you need to spend time with it to, um, to really kind of decide uh, how you feel about it. So I sat on the couch with this for a long time, um, a day actually, and I was sitting there and I was just playing with it. And I actually like this so much now that I made a hole in my case for it. I've got a new case and I actually made a spot for it in the case. So let's, let's talk about why first, it's solid. It feels good in my hand. If I, you know, again, if I had what I would think would be like a little pistol or something, uh, you know, I would expect it to weigh, to have this kind of weight to it. It feels good. It feels solid. Um, if you've ever watched, um, what was it snatch uh, in the movie snatch when they go to Boris, the blade to buy a gun and they say, you know, Boris, that, this gun's really heavy and Boris said heavy is good. Heavy is reliable. Well, that kind of reminds me of this, right? Like it is good. It is reliable. So what is it as a slider? We've got magnets kind of coming up. So that works pretty well. It doesn't, um, when you push it, it does want to pop off sometimes. So you have to be careful. It comes with this little stopper here on the end. So this stopper lets you kind of do this little cocking action here. You can even see it hop. So that's a really fun movement. And then of course you can kind of do this right now. Also, this is a solid steel has one sound. If you want it to have a louder sound, you can switch it for the PEI version. And this thing, like, this has a really loud clack to it. Especially that, oh. Man, that hurts my ears, it's so loud. And what's kind of neat is even um, on here, like the little uh, the little sight that comes with it, you can actually take that right off. So it's just a tiny, uh, it's just a tiny magnet in there. Let's see if I can get this up to the light, right? Tiny magnet and it sits inside that little hole there. And then they have the same in the PEI version. So you can actually just pop it right into the little transparent PEI version. And it also, like, you can kind of use it to, to uh, press your thumb along, which does make sense um, in, that ter in that sense in terms of placement. That helps having that spot for your thumb. If you press down on it, it's not loud. So you can actually kind of control the sound of it if you're just messing around or if you just want to slide it. Okay, so if you like loud, this is the way to go. Yeah, let's get this guy off. I don't know. Come on. Ugh, now it doesn't want to come off. You know what? Let's not mess. There we go. I, I always say, I'm like, let's not mess with it. And then I mess with it. Okay, so I'm going to just put this, uh, the PEI version aside for now. We'll just kind of work with the stainless steel. So I'm going to put this back on. All right. So if you, oh, look at that. A magnet already came out. Okay. So see here, I'll have to glue that magnet in. So that just popped out. There we go. Okay, so I'll move that to the side. There we go. All right. Oh, it's interesting too. It's much, um, is it stronger magnets? It looks like bigger magnets in the stainless steel one. So Solid little tank of a toy here though. Now, this is how easy it is to just take the pedestal apart. The pedestal, come on. The pedestal is just 
attached by magnets. So that's it. So you can actually take that right off. Put it right over there. And you can also just play with this just like that. Now it's a little tougher to do this little the reload thing unless you flip it this way. That I guess if you're playing with it in a certain way, then you would kind of, you know, adapt it to your play style. So in this case, if I'm just using this as like a just a single click like that, then I don't need the sight or you know just sort of to slide and you can just kind of now the other thing if you want this comes off super easily and then you can slide in both directions So that's kind of fun. I mean, it is sort of a like a mindless, just on its own slider. And so let me put this back in first. So this is kind of interesting. They've included spare pieces. inside so just extra magnets four little extra magnets come on out 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 here we go so two of the minis yeah let me just do it like that so you can see here two of the minis and two of the larger ones so the little ones up the rails and then the larger ones for the middle So that's kind of cool. I mean, I mean, they literally just sit there. They have no other purpose that I can think of. They don't seem to add any like vibration or anything as they're moving around. So here, let me just put this back in. Come on. There we go. I think that can still go. I think I put the plate on backwards. Yes, I did. There. So these holes actually have kind of a chamfered opening or a beveled opening on the inside so that these screws sort of sit. They rest inside the hole. Yeah. So that's how you'll know if you put this on the wrong way top of the screw might stick out a little bit there we go okay now I also find that this little gap in here is sort of perfect for your thumb You can also, t if you wanted, you could take these little side pieces off. Um, I don't know why you'd want to unless like you were going to switch them out with something else. Because the other handle, I believe, has a different color. Oh, no, actually, it's the same. Okay, so here we go. So that just lines up with the hole. And this fake little pin or the stopper just goes towards the back. And then we just pop this on. Come on. There you go. Oh, now that we're back into gun mode, put the sight back on.
they kind of look like they come from the same family. Yeah, so th like I said, this is this is if you how do I how do I put this? This is for somebody that wants something a little different and a little uh, a little fun and a little more interesting. Uh, if you've got a whole bunch of sliders and they all sort of follow the same kind of design and style, then getting something like this is is I, I like it because it's different. I like that it's not. Um, your your normal everyday slider. Now in this case, a magnet did come off of the PEI one, so I'm just going to hit it with a touch of glue and put it back in. Uh, you can actually see all the glue um, because it's transparent. You can see, I mean it might be hard to see, but you can see where these have been glued in, so I mean who knows, maybe, you know, <laughs> Maybe this guy, uh, I just it hit a loose spot or something. So anyways, I'll glue that one back in. But to be honest, I'm not really uh, going to be using the PEI on it. It's there as an option, though. But I, I like this. This also reminds me of um, back in the 90s when I smoked. A lot of lighters looked like guns like this, you know. And you would kind of like, you would hit it and then the flame would come out here. So I even, I wonder if that's what this is actually kind of modeled after because that really reminds me of that you know you'd put like the fuel in here so yeah that's there's not much else to say about this because it is pretty simple in its mechanism but it's um it's fun and it's different it's not going to be for everybody at first it wasn't even for me but the more i played with it um i i just kind of like holding it it's a comfortable thing to hold my finger just naturally sits here and I just kind of play with that. And I mean, it, it works, you know, it works the same left-handed, right-handed. And in fact, I'll probably use it in my left hand more because while I'm working, I'll just sort of sit here and mindlessly kind of tap away. Yeah, I would say this is actually, this is kind of cool. Again, not for everybody. I totally get that. Uh, for hardcore, like purists of fidget sliders and stuff, maybe not for you. Uh, for somebody looking for something fun and something different, then I, I would definitely check it out because it's actually, uh, like I said, it's very unique. The Battlemaster. I mean, come on, it's got such a cool name too. Battlemaster. Yeah,